for paper number 1324. Now in this 1324. Now question number 1. P less than C definitely true. In order to prove P less than C true, tell me from which choice are you getting this P less than C true. Now in choice one if you observe here, between P and C, what is the symbol which is common? Lesser than is common. Hence P less than C definitely true from choice one itself. Then question number two. Now in the second one, LM and O and P are five tablets, each of different size, isn't it? Hence, so how many are there? There are only five. These five tablets are being compared in their sizes. Then condition number one. O is bigger than only L. O is bigger than only L, hence O and L must be in the fourth and the fifth braces respectively, because this O is bigger than only one, that is L. M is smaller than only P. This M is smaller than only P, but whereas larger than the remaining three. Hence, L, M, N, O, P, N must be at the third place. Then the one which is the smallest is of 25 centimeters. L is 25. And the biggest is 55 centimeters. P is 55. Then, question number two, which of the following is true with respect to the given information? with respect to n. Now, n is bigger than only two tablets, definitely true, isn't it? Hence, choice one is your answer. Then, question number three. Which of the following can possibly be the size of m? Now, this m can be in between 25 and 55. Now, in between 25 and 55, tell me what is your answer here? 50, that is choice five, isn't it? Now, question number three. Then, four. Now question number four, D and P. Yes, what can we say about this one, B and D and P? The letter which is common is Q is common. Now P greater than or equals to Q, and D less than or equals to Q means Q greater than or equals to D. Hence between P and D, P greater than or equals to D, which implies that D is either less than or equals to P. Now that is the first conclusion. Then coming to the second, the relation between S and C. S is here, C is here. And again, the letter which is common is Q is common. Hence, Q less than S and Q less than C. Is Q less than C, C greater than Q. C greater than Q, Q less than C, isn't it? Hence, what is your answer here? Then the relation between these two cannot be identified. Hence, only conclusion one follows. Only conclusion one that is given in choice four. Then coming to question number five. Now in the fifth one, C and P. C is here and P is here. The letter which is common is Q is common. P greater than or equals to Q and this Q less than C. Now between P and C, there are two opposite symbols. First conclusion cannot be drawn. Coming to the second, D and S. S is here, D is here. The letter which is common is Q is common. Q less than S and D less than or equals to Q. Now between D and S, less than or equals to less than. Hence, D less than S is definitely true. Only conclusion 2 is true, that is choice 3. Question number 5, choice 3 is the answer. Then coming to question number 6. Market analysts have predicted an increase in the number of private cars by 20 percentage in city A. Clear? <coughs> now in this one, market analysts have predicted an increase in the number of private cars by about 20 percent in CDA. The civic authorities are worried as there would be increased traffic jams and pollution throughout the week in the city. Now because of this prediction made by the market analysts, now the civic authorities are worried about the more number of cars are going to come as the number of vehicles are more, private cars are more, and traffic jams and pollution will be there throughout the week in the city. Then which of the following situations may weaken the prediction made by the market analyst? Now we need to identify. Now whatever the analysis done by this market analyst has become true, has become false. How can we make this one false? By proving that there won't be any demand for these vehicles. Now first we need to prove 
there is no demand for these vehicles. Then choice one, many environmentalists and NGOs are protesting against the increased pollution in city, isn't it? City A because of the increased number of private vehicles. Now this is not, this is supporting the analyst claim rather than weakening this one. Hence, one cannot be your answer. Then coming to the second, company A, a popular automobile manufacturer is facing some legal issues and has to temporarily stop producing cars. Now this company A has stopped pro producing cars. It doesn't mean that, okay, the number of cars in case will be less, isn't it? We cannot definitely say because there are some other players from where these persons will buy the cars from the other players. That means that this company's cars may be reduced, but whereas the other cars can be increased. And third one, the prices of fuel increase a little more than what was estimated by the economic analyst. Prices of fuel were increased. It doesn't mean that a little more, isn't it? It is not by a huge margin, but was by a little more. Hence, we cannot say that the cars cannot be decreased. Then, there has been a 5 percentage increase from last, five year, last year in the number of accidents reports on the highway. Now, is there anything to do with the number of vehicles? No. 4 is also ruled out. Then, fifth one, 45 percentage of the parking space in three major malls of the city is being converted into banquet halls. They are converting this one into banquet halls, which implies they are permanently converting this one. As they are permanently converting this one, earlier they have created a provision for this, for this what? Parking space. Now they are converting this parking space into banquet halls. That means as of now, in the future, there would not be any space required for parking. As the space is not going to increase, as the parking is not required, that means the number of vehicles are coming down or not? Clear? Hence, what is your answer? Choice 5 is the answer. Hence, with the help of condition number 5, choice 5, we can say that the number of vehicles is not going to increase. If they are going to increase, they will not, isn't it, they will not convert this parking lot into banquet halls. Maybe they will increase the parking space rather than decreasing the parking space. Here they are decreasing the parking space, assuming that, assuming that the cars which are coming to this one will be very less. And question number 6, it is choice 5. Then 7th one, now question number 7 onwards, it is based on data sufficiency. Now 5 people A, B, C, D and E are seated around a circular table. Some of them are inside and some of them are outside. And how many are there? There are only five people. Then, facing outside, who is sitting to the immediate left of D? Now we need to find out the person who is to the immediate left hand side of D. Then condition number one, A is seated second to the left of B. B is facing inside. Now B is here. A is seated second to the left of B. A is here. B is facing inside. E is an immediate neighbor of both A and B. As E is an immediate neighbor of both E and B, E must be here. And C and B are not adjacent to each other. C at this place, D at this place. Then what is the question here? Who is sitting to the immediate left of D? Now the direction of this D is not known. If D is facing the center, B is the answer. Or if D is away from the center, C is the answer. And the answer could be either 1 or 2. Isn't it? Sorry. Either B or C. Hence, 1 alone is not sufficient because you are getting two different possibilities. Then, coming to the next one, condition number two, three people are facing inside. C is to the immediate right of A, A is to the immediate left of E, D is facing outside. Now, this D is facing away from the center, and D is to the immediate right of B. As D is to the immediate right of B, tell me what are the different possibilities. B can be here. If B is here, then D is to the immediate right of B, B is facing the center. Then, what is the second case? One, two, three, four, five. D is facing away from the center, then B can be here as well, then B is away from the center, D sits to the immediate right of B. As only three are facing towards the center in this case, all the remaining persons must be towards the center. Then C is to the immediate right of A, A is to the immediate left of E, A is to the immediate left of E, and D is facing outside, D is to the immediate right of B. As D is to the immediate right of B we have taken and D is facing outside and 
a is to the immediate left of e. Yes, where can you find this one? a is to the immediate left of e means if a is here, then e will be here. That is one case. Or if a is e is here, a will be here. There are two different possibilities or not? a is to the immediate left of e. Hence, 2 alone is also not sufficient. Then by combining these two. If you combine these two, now what is the information we have? Now we are including condition number 2 into condition number 1. C, C is to the immediate right of A. As C is to the immediate right of A, now C is to the immediate right of A is given. As this person A is facing the center, C is to the immediate right of A, then C must be here. If C is here, then who is the other person? E must be here. Then C is to the immediate right hand side of A. A is to the immediate left of E. A is to the immediate left of E. Is it valid here? A is to the immediate left of E. Here A is to the immediate right of E. And this case is ruled out. If this, if this case is ruled out, then let us check out the remaining cases as well. C is to the immediate right of A. C is to the immediate right of A. Then here there is only one person who is facing away from the center. We do not know the direction of the remaining person. As you do not know the direction of the remaining persons, two cases are possible, isn't it? Hence, the second one is also not sufficient. Then by combining these two, here we could be able to find out both the persons are away. Hence, we got three are facing the center. Here there is only one person is away. Among the remaining four, there are only three inside. Hence, there are two more possibilities here. Then combining these two, only three people are facing inside. And C is to the immediate right of A. As C is to the immediate right of A, this A is facing away from the center. C is to the immediate right of A. A is to the immediate left of E. Hence, A is, E is facing towards the center. Isn't it? Then, A is to the immediate left of A. D is facing outside. D is to the immediate right of B. D is to the immediate right of B. This is valid. Then, A is seated second to the left of B. And, B is facing inside. E is an immediate neighbor of both A and B. E is an immediate neighbor of both A and B. C and B are not adjacent to each other. Now in this one, tell me, are we getting the answer or not? By combining one and two. No, why? Because now, whether C is facing the center or D is facing the center, that information is not known. Hence, what is your answer here? Are we getting any answer in this one? No. Hence, both those statements are also not sufficient to get a unique answer. Done with this? Then question number 8. Now in this question number 8, how is seen coded in the given code language? In the given code language, have you seen here, is coded as 843T and seen pictures were deleted. It is coded as this one. Then tell me what are the words which are common, have you seen here? And seen is the only word which is common between these two. As there is only one word which is common, one code will be common. Hence, the code to the word seen can be identified. Isn't it? Hence, one alone is sufficient. Then second, so that was seen is called as 19. So that was seen, 1905. And so many were seen. So and seen is also so and seen are the two words which are common then two codes will be common and the code to this word seen cannot be identified because any code between these two which are common. Hence only one alone is sufficient, two alone is not sufficient that is given in choice four. Then question number nine. Now in this one among ten people standing in a row facing north, what is a position from the right end of the line? Now all the persons are facing towards north only. Tell me how many are there? There are in total 10 persons. 10 persons are among 10 people standing in a row facing north. What is A's position from the right end of the line? Only four people are sitting to the right of C. Hence, C must be at this place. Because as all the persons are facing towards north, hence this C must be fixed from the right end of the row. Because only four are to the right hand side of C. Only four people standing to the left of E. As only four are standing to the left of E, E must be at this place, isn't it? E and C are adjacent to each other. Then only two people are standing between A and C. As only two people are between A and C, hence 
A can be here or A can be here. There are two possibilities, isn't it? And A can be second from the right or third from the left. Only two people between A and C. B is seated second to the left of E. As B is seated second to the left of E, here A cannot be here because B is seated second to the left of E. Isn't it? As A and B cannot be in the same place, as A cannot be at this place, hence A must be here only. Are we getting a unique answer or not? Hence one alone is sufficient to determine the position of A. Then condition number two. Now in this condition number two, G is standing second from the left hand of the line. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now G is standing second from the left hand of the line. G is here. And D and B are immediate neighbors of G. D and B are immediate neighbors of G. D is here. Then B will be here. Or B is here. D will be here. How many possibilities? Two possibilities. Now D and B are immediate neighbors of G. Only six people are standing between B and F. B and F, there are exactly six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hence, F will be here in the first case. And in the second case, three, four, five, six, F will be here. Are you following this one or not? Again, two possibilities to this, B and F. Six people between B and F. A is to the immediate left of F. If A is here, second from the right. A is here, fourth from the right. Are you getting two different answers or not? Hence. Only one alone is sufficient with the help of two alone. We are getting two possibilities to this A, either second or fourth from the right hand side. Hence, only one alone is sufficient. Question number nine, it is given in choice three. Then, tenth one. Now, question number ten. On which day of the week did Samira's flight landed in Cochin? Now, we need to find out the day. No flights landed in Cochin on Tuesday and Thursday and Sunday. Only and Sunday. Only flights from Mumbai landed in Cochin on Friday, isn't it? No. No flights landed in Cochin. Now the information is regarding Cochin. Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday ruled out. Hence Monday, Wednesday, isn't it? Then what are the different possible days? Monday is one and Wednesday, Friday and Saturday, isn't it? Friday and Saturday. On any one of these four days, now this person Samira landed in Cochin. Then on Sunday, only flights from Mumbai landed in Cochin on Friday. On Friday, only the flights from Mumbai reached to this one. Whether Samira is from Mumbai or not, that information is not known. If that information is given, then one alone is sufficient. Then, condition number two. Samira was in Bhopal on Monday and Saturday. On Monday and Saturday, she was in Bhopal. Hence, she was not in Mumbai on these two days. Hence, on the remaining five days, Samira can be in Mumbai. Samira in Cochin, isn't it? Hence, two alone is not sufficient. By combining these two, Samira was in Bhopal on Monday and Saturday. Monday and Saturday were ruled out, isn't it? Then, this Samira landed in Cochin either on Wednesday or Friday. As there are two different answers to this one, and so what is your answer? Both the statements is also not sufficient. That is choice four. The data given in both the statements one and two together are not sufficient, choice four. Then question number 11. Is J the brother of D? Now we need to find out whether J is the brother of D or not. Is J the brother? As the question is about is, now we need to find out yes or no. Then, condition number one. L is the wife of K. K is a male. L is a female. L is the wife of K. K is the father of J. K is the father of J. B is the son of J. B is the son of J. K is the father of J. B is the son of J. N is the mother of B. N is the mother of B. That means N and J are married couple. J is a male. N is the mother of B. D is the daughter of L. Now this D is the daughter of L. Information clearly given. Yes. Then what is your answer here? Then how is this J related to D? J and D are siblings to each other. J is the brother of D. Hence one alone is sufficient. With the help of condition number one, we are getting that J is the brother of D. Then, condition number two. 
Then coming to condition number two, S is the husband of D. S is the husband of D can be written like this, S and D are married couple, D is a female, and K is the father-in-law of S. As K is the father-in-law of S, that means S's, S's father's father is K, that means D's father is K. K is the father-in-law of S. N is the daughter-in-law of K. N is the daughter-in-law of K. As N is the daughter-in-law of K, daughter-in-law means spouse's, sorry, daughter-in-law means son's wife. Now this N is the daughter-in-law of K, that means D's brother's wife is N. N is the daughter-in-law of K. J is married to N. As J is married to N, that means J and N are married couple. Now D and J are siblings to each other. Out of which J is a male, hence J is the brother of D. Are you getting the answer or not? Hence one alone is sufficient, two alone is also sufficient, and the data either in one alone, two alone is sufficient choice too. And this is about question number 11. Then question numbers 12 to 17. Now in this question numbers 12 to 17, tell me what is the information here? A school has decided to organize seven different competitions, cycling, swimming, running and so on on seven different days of the week, starting from Monday and ending on Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Isn't it? Now seven persons on seven different days and seven different events. Seven different events on seven different months. There were no persons here in this. Then, Sack race will be held on Wednesday. Information clearly given. Now this sack race will be on Wednesday. Then, this is a definite information. There will be a gap of two days between the days on cycling and skating. Between cycling and skating, there must be two. And skating will be held after cycling. That means cycling, one, two, skating will be here. As of now, how many possibilities to this cycling? Cycle, cycling can be on Monday, on Tuesday, or on Thursday. Three different possibilities to this cycling. Then, next one. Will be held after skating will be two days between. And skating will be he held. Skating will be held after cycling. Cycling. And cycling will not be held on Monday. Sack race will be held on Wednesday. Here there has to be a full stop. Then, there will be a gap of two days between the days on which cycling and skating will be held. Isn't it? Next one, here there is one more full stop. Skating will be held after cycling. After cycling. And cycling will not be held. Skating will be held after cycling. Here there must be a full stop. Isn't it? After this one, then cycling will not be held on Monday. Clear now? Cycling cannot be held on Monday. Monday is ruled out. And cycling can be either Tuesday or Thursday. How many possibilities do we have? We have some two possibilities to this cycling. Either Tuesday or Thursday. Then there will be a gap of one day between sack race and potato race. Sack and potato, there must be exactly one day. Now, Tell me what are the different possibilities to this cycling. Cycling can be either on Tuesday or what is the other possibility here? Sack is here. Then cycling can be here. Isn't it? There are only two possibilities to this cycling. And between cycling and skating, how many are there? There must be exactly two. Hence in the first case, the skating must be on Friday. And in the second case, cycling and skating one, two. Skating must be on Sunday. And this is the second case. Done with this, between cycling and skating, there must be exactly two. Cycling will not be held on Monday. There will be a gap of one day between sack race, between the days on swimming and sack race will be held. Isn't it? Swimming and sack race, there must be exactly one day. Hence, in the first case, swimming must be on Monday. Isn't it? And in the second case, swimming can be either on Monday or on Friday. There are two possibilities to this one, isn't it? Two possibilities to this swimming. Then, potato race will be held on a day immediately after frog race. Potato is immediately after frog race. Hence, in the first case, potato is here. Immediately after frog race, frog at this place. And in this one, 
potato and this one potato and frog can be frog and potato can be monday tuesday or friday saturday there are two possibilities in this one isn't it now i am talking about the second case there are two possibilities frog and potato can be friday or saturday or can be on monday or tuesday then potato race will be held on a day immediately after frog race running race will not be held on thursday as running race will not be held on thursday finally in the first case we are left with running on thursday but as clearly specified running cannot be on thursday hence this case is completely ruled out now we are left with only the second case then potato race will not be held on saturday as potato cannot be held on saturday the second case here frog and potato on friday and saturday is ruled out isn't it as it is ruled out hence frog must be on monday then potato race must be on tuesday and swimming where to the swimming swimming must be on friday this will be swimming then finally left over is running this running is on saturday whether the entire information is valid or not and this is the order in which these seven events are is going to be conducted on these seven different days and this is about question number 12 to 17 then 18 to 23 after this 12 to 17 then question numbers 18 to 23 now in this 18 to 23 input followed by some six six steps are there 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 isn't it now in the input tell me how many elements are there there are some 12 elements and uh, how many steps are there six steps that means in each step exactly two two elements are being arranged one number and one word are being arranged in each one of these steps then tell me what is the logic in this one in order to identify the logic we should always compare the input with the final output the final output is step 6 now in this one 19 25 31 43 61 77 77 all these are the numbers in the ascending order first all the numbers are arranged in the ascending order followed by a deep false j l and sweet all the words are arranged in the alphabetical order first five six numbers arranged in the ascending order next six words arranged in the alphabetical order this is the logic then we need to find out the pattern followed in this one in order to find out the pattern we need to compare the input and step one now in this input and step one now the least number is 19 arranged at the first place and a a p is the least word arranged at the last place further in step 2 what happened here a shifted to 11th place next 10th place 9th place 8th place and 7th place and in the further steps this a shifted to the next position and the next word will be arranged to its right hand side and but was here now in step 1 19 arranged at the first place then in step 2 next is number 25 then in step 3 next is number 31 and here there is no shifting in this and in step 4 43 is arranged and step 5 61 finally 77 is arranged done with this this is how the numbers are arranged and the words are arranged now question number 18 to 23 all these questions comes under the same pattern okay then 24 onwards now question numbers 24 to 29 eight friends a b c d e f g and h working in the same bank are seated around a circular table facing the center now tell me how many persons are there there are some eight persons 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 are facing towards the center eight persons are facing towards the center each one of them were posted in a different city city is clear. working in the same bank are posted in different city now as these persons are facing towards the center now first we need to fix one person c sits second to the right of the person from amritsar now i am fixing the person from amritsar is here if the person from amritsar is here c sits second to the right hand side c must be here and only one person between c and the one from patna c and the one from patna now the person who has posted in patna is not in the clockwise direction of this c is it because then partner and amritsar must be in the same place hence the person from patna must be 
opposite to the person from Amritsar. There is only one person between C and Patna. D sits to the immediate left of the one who is posted in Delhi. Now D is to the immediate left of the one who is posted in Delhi, isn't it? D is to the immediate left of the one who is posted in Delhi. C is not posted in Delhi. Now C Delhi is ruled out. This C Delhi ruled out. And the one who is posted in Delhi is neither an immediate neighbor of C nor the one from Amritsar. Neither immediate neighbor of C, hence Delhi cannot be here, Delhi cannot be here, Delhi cannot be here, Delhi cannot be here as well. Isn't it? Hence, if you have there here, Delhi cannot be here, cannot be here, cannot be here, 4, 5, 6. Now we are left with only two possibilities to this Delhi. Isn't it? Then, now D sits to the main left of the one posted in Delhi. Then tell me what are the different. Third left. Now, D sits third to the left of the one who is posted in Delhi. As D sits third to the left of the one who is posted in Delhi, then Delhi cannot be in these places, that is fine. Then, can Delhi be here or not? Can Delhi be at this place here? If Delhi is here, 1, 2, 3, C and D must be in the same place, which is not possible. Hence, Delhi cannot be here as well. Then the only possibility left to this Delhi is where? Now, the person from Delhi must be opposite to this C. Done with this? And 1, 2, 3, D sits out to the left of the person from Delhi, and D is to the immediate right hand side of this C. Clear now? Now, as of now, we could be able to finalize the person from Amrutsar, Delhi, Patna, C, and D. Then, Delhi is neither an immediate neighbor of C nor the person posted in Amrutsar, and the one posted in Mumbai, Mumbai sits to the immediate right of H. Mumbai is to the immediate right hand side of H. Mumbai is to the immediate right of H. H and Mumbai must be like this. Mumbai is to the immediate right of H. H is neither in posted in Delhi nor in Amritsar. Isn't it? H cannot be here. H cannot be here. H cannot be in these two places. Then, then tell me what are the different points. H cannot be here as well. Are you following this one or not? Because if H is here, then Mumbai and Amritsar must be in the same place, which is not possible. Isn't it? Then, what are the different possibilities to this Mumbai? Now, Mumbai can be here. Isn't it? If Mumbai is here, Mumbai cannot be here. Why Mumbai cannot be here? Because then H, the one posted in Mumbai sits to the immediate right of H. Now, we are discussing about this H. Can H be at this place? H cannot be here as well, in between Delhi and Patna. Why if H is here, then Mumbai and Delhi must be in the same place, which is not possible. Hence, H cannot be here. Now, we are discussing about the positions of this H. H cannot be here. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six places were ruled out. Now, we are left with only two more possibilities. What are those two possibilities? H can be from Patna or H is to the immediate right hand side of the person from Amritsar. H can be either here or H can be from Patna. Done with this? Two possibilities. Then, B is not an immediate neighbor of the one posted in Patna. B is not an immediate neighbor of the one posted in Patna. And H is neither posted in Delhi nor Amritsar. We are taking that information. Only two people sit between B and the one posted in Mumbai. B and the one posted in Mumbai. Now, we need to find out the positions of this H and Mumbai. Now, can you take the person from H is like this? Now, H is partner, this is one possibility. If H is here, then the person from Mumbai will be here. That is one possibility. Then, then what is the other information here? Only two people sit between. H is only two people between B and the one posted in Mumbai. Two people between B and the one posted in Mumbai. Hence, this B must be from Amritsar. Isn't it? B and the one posted in Mumbai. And B is not an immediate neighbor of the person who posted in Patna. Isn't it? Now, now so this is one case. If you take Mumbai at this place, sorry, H at this place, then Mumbai will be here. If Mumbai is here, two people between Mumbai and who is the other person? Mumbai and B. Then one, two, B can be either at this place, B can be here. Now I am talking about the second case rather than drawing the second case. Then if B in these two places, then this B is not an immediate neighbor of the person posted from Patna. B cannot be at this place. As B cannot be at this place, 
and see if Mumbai is here, H is here, Mumbai is here, and B can be here. This is B1, and this is B2, and Mumbai 1, and this will be Mumbai 2. Done? And so many possibilities we have? Sorry. And this is Mumbai 2. This will be H. Then, B is not an immediate neighbor of the one who is posted in Mumbai. Then what is the other information here? The one posted in Lucknow and Pune are immediate neighbors of each other. Lucknow and Pune are immediate neighbors of each other. Now here Delhi, Mumbai partner were done, isn't it? Amritsar is here. Then here there are two places which are left out. D and C can be Lucknow, Pune or C and H can be Lucknow or Pune. Two vacant places. But whereas if you take Mumbai at this place, do we find the two adjacent places, two vacant places for Pune and this one which is not possible? Hence, Mumbai cannot be at this place. Are you following this one or not? If you have taken Mumbai H at this place, then Mumbai will be H. If Mumbai is H, then Pune and this one, Pune and who is it? Lucknow. Lucknow and Pune adjacent to each other, which is completely ruled out. Hence, what is the only possibility? H and Mumbai is here. If H and Mumbai are here, then what is the other information? B. Only two people between B and Mumbai, one, two. This B is from Amritsar. Done with this? Without drawing the second diagram, we could able to finalize the second possibility as well. Then, Lucknow and this one. Lucknow and Pune must be adjacent to each other. The one posing Lucknow and Pune are immediate neighbors. Neither D nor C is posted in Pune. D and C cannot be posted in Pune. Hence, and the person from Pune must be here. Then, Lucknow must be here. This is the only possibility. And Lucknow and Pune were done. Delhi, Mumbai, Patna, Lucknow, Pune, Amrits were done. Now we are left with only two more. The one posted in Calcutta sits to the immediate right of F. Calcutta is to the immediate right hand side of F. And this person must be Calcutta. Then Delhi is F. If this is Calcutta, then what is the city left over? Chennai. Hence D is from Chennai. And the one posted in Calcutta sits to the immediate right of F. A is not posted in Calcutta. As A is not posted in Calcutta, A can be from Mumbai or Pune. A is not, and G is not an immediate neighbor of F. As G is not an immediate neighbor of F, G cannot be Calcutta and Mumbai. Hence, G must be Pune. If G is Pune, A is not Calcutta. Hence, A is Mumbai. If A is Mumbai, then who is the person left over? A, B, C, D. F, G, H, E is the person and is from Calcutta. Done with this? This is how these eight persons are seated around a circular table. And each one of them belongs to a different city. They were posted in different cities. And this is about question numbers 24 to 29. Done with this? Then 30 to 35. Now this question numbers 30 to 35 is again based on a puzzle. Now 30 to 35. Now in this question number 30 to 35. Now P, Q, R, S, T, U, V and W are seated in a straight line, but not necessarily in the same order. Some of them are facing south, while some of them are facing north. Some south and some north is given, isn't it? Now P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W means eight persons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then but not necessarily some of them are north, some of them are south. Q sits fourth to the right of V, and V faces south. As V is facing south, V is facing south. One, two, three, four, isn't it? Q sits fourth to the right of V, V faces south. T sits second to the left of V. T is seated second to the left of V, this is the possible. Hence, how many possibilities we have? Now, if you take Q, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven places were covered. And so how many possibilities we can have? Two possibilities. Q can be at the first place. Then 1, 2, 3, V will be here, facing towards south, and T will be here. T is second to the left of V. And what is the second possibility? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now Q at the second place. Then V will be here. Then T sits second to the left of V. T is at an extreme end. Hence, in total, we are having only two possibilities. V faces south, T sits second to the left of V. Immediate neighbors of V faces north. Immediate neighbors of V are facing north, hence these two persons are facing towards north. Immediate neighbors of V faces north, 
these two persons are facing towards north. Immediate neighbors of B facing north. And U sits to the immediate right of S. U is to the immediate right of S. U is to the immediate right hand side of S. Isn't it? S and U must be here. U sits to the immediate right of S. S is not an immediate neighbor of Q. S is not an immediate neighbor of Q. S cannot be here. S cannot be here and S cannot be here. As S cannot be in these two places. Now in the second case, there is only two, there are only two probabilities to this S. And tell me what is up. U sits to the immediate right of S. Now S must be here, then U must be here. Isn't it? Why? Because the person in this place is facing not. Then if you take S at this place, U and V must be in the same place, which is not possible. Hence, S cannot be at this place. Are you following this one or not? Hence, S is here. U sits to the immediate right of S, and this S must also be facing towards north only. Done with this? Now, in the second case, we can have this possibility, but as in the and in the first case also, S cannot be here. Tell me where should this S be? S must be. Then tell me what is the possibility of S? S cannot be here, S can be here or here. Out of which S cannot be at this place. If S is here, U and V must be in the same place ruled out. Hence, S is here. If S is at this place, then U sits to the immediate right of S. U will be here. If U is here, then S is facing towards north. Done with this, in both the cases, we can able to finalize this S and U. U sits to the immediate right of S. S is not an immediate neighbor of Q. S sits out to the left of P. As S is seated out to the left of P, now P must be here. Then only S sits out to the left of P is valid. S is seated out to the left of P, here also P must be here. S is seated out to the left of P, isn't it? Then, here there are two different possibilities in the second case. S is seated out to the left of P, P is facing north. Or, if P is here, then P is facing south, S is seated out to the left of P is also valid. In the second case, there are two possibilities to this P. And P does not sit at an extreme end of the line. Hence, P cannot be at this place. Done with this now? P cannot be at this place. Now we are left with only one possibility to this P. Then, R is neither an immediate neighbor of Q nor S. R is neither an immediate neighbor of Q nor S. R will be here. If R is here, then W is the person left out W is here. R is neither an immediate neighbor of Q nor S. R cannot be here. R cannot be here. R cannot be in any other remaining places. And there is no possibility in the second place for this R. And second possibility is completely ruled out. Clear enough? Then, R is an immediate neighbor of, neither an immediate neighbor of Q nor S. Immediate neighbors of T as well as W. Immediate neighbors of T as well as W face opposite direction. T's neighbors are facing opposite. T's neighbors P and R. P is north, R is south. And W's neighbors are also opposite. S and Q are opposite. S is north, Q is south. Done with this? And as well as W face opposite directions, both W and T face the same direction as R. Both W and T face the same direction as R. W, T and R are facing the same direction. R is facing south, T is also facing south, this W is also facing south. Done with this? And that's it. And this is information. And we could able to find out the order in which these eight persons were sitting and their direction as well. Now this is about question numbers 30 to 35. Then 36 to 38. Shall we discuss this one, question numbers 36 to 38? Now, question numbers 36 to 38. It is based on a statement followed by different statement A, B, C, D, E, and F. Then, first to write down this arrangement, Q, W, S, U, V, P, T, R is the order. Q and W are south, S and U north, V south, P north, T and R facing towards north. Then, coming to this question number 36 onwards, a global drug giant, I Pharma, has filed for a patenting right for Arakip. Now, this Arakip is a drug, okay? 
invented by these persons, considered a life saver for malaria patients. Now they have discovered this one, E. Arachip, and which is a life saver for malaria patient, and they want to patent this one. Then, condition number one. A violation of patent laws by trying to duplicate the contents can lead to strict punitive actions, isn't it? Then why they are going for this one? Because if anyone wants to replicate this one, then an action should can be taken place, isn't it? And this is the reason for the above thing to happen or what is the effect of this one? Effect of this one means if anyone try to do this one, they have to face this severe action. And patenting would adversely affect availability and affordability of director, isn't it? Now this is what, this is the resultant of the patent, isn't it? Resultant of the patent and see, while in some countries healthcare facilities are becoming expensive, others expensive, expensive, others, others, strict government or strict government regulations ensure that these remain affordable to all. Here he is talking about how to make these drugs available to all the people. Then D, a patent waiver should be put in place in order to deal with the emergency situations, isn't it? Then I Pharma has invested years and spent millions of dollars on the research of Serakip and considers it its intellectual property. Now this is the reason why they are going for this, isn't it? A reason, because they have invested so much time and money on this one. Hence, they do not want to give this formula to the other people, isn't it? Hence, they want to make this one as a patent for themselves. It is considered to be their intellectual property. Then, the government should subsidize the medicine and its cost. Should be, should be, net through government, should be met, met through government schemes. And now, this is what the step that has to be taken by the government in order to make it available for all the people. That means it comes under what? Courses of action, isn't it? What is the course of action the government should keep, should take in order to make this one available to all the people? Done with this? Then, which of the given statements represent the reason for applying the patent? Yes, what is the reason here? As they felt that it is their intellectual property and they have considered this as their reason, isn't it? Hence, E is the answer. 36, it is choice 3. Then 37. S37. Now in question number 37, which of the following statements represent the most appropriate courses of action to deal with the issues related to, issues related to the patent of Seracid? Issues related means once this patent right has been given, then what are the steps that has to be taken by the government, isn't it, or some other people in order to make it available for all the people. Earlier we had discussed about those, the government F, isn't it? And at the same time, and we have discussed about one more also. What is that one? Patenting would be adversely affect availability and affordability, isn't it? As availability and affordability will be controlled by only this person, isn't it? Hence, this has to be taken care of the government in order to make available to all the people. Then what is your answer here? B and F. B and F that is given in choice five. Are you following this one or not? B and F. Then question number 38. Now, what is the 38? Which of the given statements would weaken? I pharma stand of patenting the drug Seracid. Here in this one, there is no answer to this one at all. Isn't it? All are supporting. All the reasons, all the causes, all the effects of this one is given. Here, nothing has been said about this weaken. Isn't it? Then, if you take, would strengthen the I pharma statement. Strengthening means E is I then E will be the answer. Why it is E? Because they have invested most of their time and they have spent millions of dollars on this one. They have spent most of their amount on this one and the time also they have spent. Hence, hence this is the reason why they are patenting. And this is strengthening their stand. Why they are patenting means this is the reason why we are patenting this. And if the question is about patenting, choice one is your answer. Then question number 39. Now in this question number 39, irked with acute water shortage. Now irked with what? Frustrated by this one. 
with acute water shortage, residents of Jumpa district staged a peaceful protest at the water supply department of the municipal corporation office on Friday. Which of the following will strengthen the step taken by the residents? Now we need to find out there is a reason why these persons were protested against, isn't it? Against the water supply department, isn't it? Now we need to find out the reason. Then the first one, the residents of Jumpa. The residents of Jumpa, the residents of Jumpa district are known for making mountains out of mole hills. What do you mean by this one? Mountain out of mole hills means mole hills means very small. But whereas these people were can able to project this one on a larger screen. Isn't it? That means this is both of them lo chodo under jusera. That's what it comes under that category. Now the problem is very minute, but whereas they will project this one on a larger scale. And this cannot be the answer, isn't it? Then, the government is planning to send tankers of water to district, which frame, pro which face problem of water shortage. Now, as already the government has already given a solution, there is no necessity for these people to stage a dharna. And this is also ruled out. Then, third one, the meteorological department has predicted that this year, the country may experience, here the question is about the country, but not about only that region. Isn't it? Hence, the, in this one also, we could not able to find out the reason why they are protesting against this. Then, fourth one, the local police arrested two municipality officers, municipal officers, who were involved in illegally supplying water from Jumpa, underline this word Jumpa, district, to the nearby two-star hotels. Now, here, the police have arrested two municipal officers. They are illegally supplying the water that belongs to these Jumpa people to the two star hotels. And this is the reason why these people are protesting Agnes. Could we able to find out the reason or not? Whether it is a valid reason or not? Okay, their water is being sent to the star hotels and for them there is a water problem. Choice 4. Hence question number 39, it is choice 4 is the answer. But whereas in choices, in the key it is given choice 5. Now let us check out 5. People from Jumpa district are becoming more violent and adopting more silent methods of protesting in order to express their case. Is this the reason here? Isn't this is how they will show their protest has clearly specified. But yes, why they are protesting this one that was discussed in choice for itself. Hence, for his answer. Then question number 40. Now 40th. Which of the following statements is definitely false? Then, which of the following is definitely false? L and E. Now, L and E, E equals to G, G lesser than L. That means L greater than E is definitely true. Are you following this one or not? L equals to G. Now, in the place of G, L equals, E equals to G. In the place of E, G, I can take it as E. E lesser than L means L greater than E is definitely true. Here the question is definitely false, first one cannot be your answer. Are you following this one or not? Then coming to the second, Z and E. E is here, Z is here. Now E equals to G, as E equals to G, then Z is lesser than or equals to E. Now in the place of G, I can take it as E or not. Now Z lesser than E or equals to E is definitely true. Hence, and second one also cannot be your answer. Done with this? Then coming to the third, U lesser than L. U is here, L is here. Then what is the element which is common here? G is common. Now, U less than L. Now, G is common between these two. G greater than U. G is G greater than U. And in the next one, G is less than L. That is L greater than G. Now, finally, L greater than U. L greater than U. U less than L is also true. Hence, it cannot be false. Then, fourth one, L and Z. Now, L and Z, now in the second statement, Z less than L, L greater than Z is also true, and this also cannot be false. Finally, Z greater than or equals to R. Only one choice is left over, Z greater than or equals to R. Now, let us check out whether it is definitely false or not. R is here, Z is here. Now, between these two, which is common? G is common, R greater than G, Z less than or equals to Z, 
z less than or equal to g, g greater than or equal to z. Now between r and z, r greater than z, isn't it? Z less than r is true. But as here, z greater than or equal to r, definitely false. Choice five is the answer. Question number forty. Choice five. Then question number forty-one. Now in question number forty-one. A French luxury apparel, a French luxury apparel brand ABC, has decided to increase its retail network by opening. Now they have already decided. Now we must be very careful regarding this word "decided." They have already decided to increase its retail network by opening ten new stores in four metropolitan cities in the country within the six months. Now they have decided to launch ten stores. In six, in four metropolitan cities in the next six months, as I have already decided into this one, now we need to check out whether it is possible to decide or whether it is possible to open these shops or not. Then, which of the following will act as a challenge in implementing the decision? What is the decision here? To launch ten stores in four cities in the next six months is their task, isn't it? Then, implementing the decision taken by A, B, C. Then, by checking out one, two, three, four, five, which among the following statements, okay, will not help them to launch this one peacefully? And they get it. Now, first one. Today, consumers have greater disposable income as increasingly spend their money on its item. Here, he is talking about the purchasing power of the people, but as here, he is not discussing anything a smooth way of launching these stores, isn't it? Hence, this is ruled out. Now we need to discuss about why it is difficult to launch this in the next six months. And they get it. Then second, demand for apparel and footwear continue to fall this year. That means there is no demand for this one. As there is no demand for this one, but whereas they have already taken this one into consideration, they have already taken this into consideration, and they have to, and they have decided to launch. Here in the second one, nothing to discuss anything regarding how they have to launch this one. And third, counterfeit is one of the biggest challenge. That means duplicate. There is a chance of duplicating this one, isn't it? Is it anything to do how to launch this one? This is also ruled out. Fourth one, the government is focusing government more on promoting cottage industries. Now the government is focusing on cottage industries. Of the country, while imposing strict laws on international apparel brands, clearly given, entering into the country. Now these persons have decided to launch ten stores, isn't it? But whereas the government is thinking to stop the international brands from coming into our country, hence this might be a difficult for these persons to launch this one successfully. Clear? Are you getting this one or not? And so what is your answer? Choice four. This might not be that much smooth for them to launch this one because the government is thinking the other way. Now, question number forty-one. As the remaining person, the remaining can be able to do this one. And the next is Quant. Sir, sir is already waiting outside. 